Welcome to another episode of Don't Touch Me, West is Modified. So today we are going to be doing some little bits on it on Dave's FN2. Take it away, Dave. Just tell them, tell these people what we're doing. What are we doing? We've got lots of bits there. We've got lots, lots of shiny bits. We've got lots of probably. bits. Um, Which are probably going to be an arse to fit. Because everything in this car <laughs> seems to be a pain in the fucking ass. Well, well no modification is simple enough, is it? Anyway. Mm. So we've got um, we've got some bits from Mishimoto, we've got bits from Cobb My Ride, and uh, we've got some bits from Teguar. So let's get to it and you can have a look at them in a moment. So for the FN2, we've got some Mishimoto wheel nuts. These look fucking sick. Um, we've got Teguar battery clamp, and we've got some Cobb My Ride goodies. Get rid of those silvery bits. And we've got some engine bay washers. So these are from Teguar. Um, bearing in mind, I'll point out, these didn't come with it. Um, so I don't know how the fuck they expect you to fit it. And they, they look nice, don't get me wrong, they look nice. But you can't fucking fit the bastards. Anyway, um, so we bought these uh, rubber uh, rev nuts. They uh, will have to modify the slam panel from to fit because they're bigger. So it might be an irreversible mod, but it'll look fucking smart, won't it? So um, we'll show you how we do it now, and uh, let's get to it. Does it fit? Ooh, she's a dad. Like you run around. Like the ash all of a seven year old. <laughs> For fuck's sake, man. You're going to do it. <gasps> you would, wouldn't you? And you would. Never mind. That one's in. <laughs> that one's going to be filled. Gently. Do it step by step. If you're using the step drill, do it step by step. Get it? So <laughs> 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 Okie day. So we drilled that one out there on the metal slam panel. And that one there, and then we drilled that out to uh, 12 mil to start with with the step drill, and then slightly bored it out a bit more. Uh, I think you'd be looking at about 13 mil to get them in. Um, we they're quite nice and snug, so once obviously the screw goes in, they'll they'll uh, splay out a bit. And then what we've done is we've left the slam panel standard for now. We haven't altered any of the holes, and then we have on the grill. Done the same with the with the grill, those ones there. Uh, we did, well I did, so I say, I did fuck up one of them and it pulled in a bit too far. So what have we done is um, used a washer there and then once the rib knot closes up then it'll it'll pull up tight. So that one should work fine. Um, just keep that in mind obviously when you go doing it. I fucked it up and it's easy done and you'll fuck it up if you don't keep your eye on it. Isn't that right Dave? Ah, you Thank jackass! You. I, know, I know, I know. So we've just gone to do the battery clamp, put the battery clamp. Um, and what we've noticed is these that are supplied with your clamp are the same size as the standard um, <clears throat> bars. Here's one of my dealer. Or, or similar. 
as you can see it's a little bit longer but however the design of the Tegu R1 with the clamp as you can see they're uh, countersunk um, washers uh, and you get this bit as well with a countersunk screw now if you put that on top it's not going to look right or work right so what we're having to do is we put the um, we put these in the in the, the original um, clamp holes pull them up tight and measured the thread right to the bottom of here um, and what you're going to do then is got one of the vice ready to go so put a nut over it ready we got the mark so once I've cut that off now with a hacksaw we thread the nut back over it that helps sort the thread out at the top here because it'll be a mess uh, and that then should sit just under there Jen! anyway so we're going to cut this fucker off here so there's our original mark oh, there's that. the original mark that we've just made um, what I'm going to do is cut cut there first and alter it if need be afterwards uh, oh, So how this works, as I said about two minutes earlier, so it threads on there, like that, and then your bolt goes in from the top then through your clamp. So I'll just check this fucking works. So we've already fitted the other one, as you can see. Right which works rather well now you can see that it is shorter than um, than the actual clamp itself but that's well, it's too short to reach the clamp rather but that's what this is for because if you've got too much on there you won't have enough gap So, so hopefully that should be the boy. How's that now, Batman? As good as it's going to be. The flex is in the actual bar. That... Yeah, it'd be fine. So yeah, that should take you while battery can't fit it. Woo! That was a really good idea, Dave. That's a banging idea, Dave. That's a dope. Can you get it in? Yeah, I've got it is in. it in yet? I think so. But I need the. To... Quantum. One tool to another. Quantum. Well, fucking hell. Is this gonna work? Or do we need longer belt? We need longer belt. Ow. Quantum belt. Is all it takes. I tell you now, right? Like, after all the modifications I think we've done on this car, mm. the Tegawatt engine bay washers are the biggest pain in my fucking ass. I'd much rather fit a turbo kit than working one of the, than these. Oh, give me, I got a turbo. Oh, fucking, fucking stupid cunt. Okay, you done that yet? Yeah. You're pissing me off. So you talk about turbo, you feel like I'm making an EP thing. Done, happy? Listen, no, you Honda wanker. I wish I could be French car in bricks just as much as this. Have you done this one yet? No! She will not like it. So he's decided we'll do the Scotter ones. Yeah, why not? As well as all the others. Make it look good. Very good, very nice. <laughs> very good, very nice. Right then, so we've got our lovely Carbon My Ride fuel cap cover. On the back, it comes with um, some 3M stickies. Um, it is actually, there's a cut out there as you can see. Um, because it's shaped for the fuel cap, so it's literally as simple as lining the grooves off and applying enough pressure to the tape. Like 
so. I'll give you a peek. And that's Now we got the fucking business on there, boy. Looks pucker. Now we'll do the handles. So handles are quite easy. So we're just gonna wipe them over. I got a bit of acetone on the rag. So wipe the handles over. Hey, babe. Oh, hi, Dave. How's the wheel nuts going, Dave? Oh. oh, nice. Good job on that. Come on. And they are ready to be fitted. But look at those bad boys. So Dave's opted for the Mishimoto red wheel nuts yeah. against uh, his recently refurbished gold alloys. Subaru gold. Subaru. With anodized alloy wheel nuts from Mishimoto. Lifetime warranty, I might add. Whoopity whoop whoop. So these are the carbon my ride handle covers. They come with 3M tape already on. Um, we've seen a few things on forums where they're saying that they fitted in with just the tape and they're coming off. So as a bit of preventative maintenance, we're going to be dickheads and put it on with CT1. Some clear CT1. It, uh, not my favourite method, I gotta say. Two big dabs. Apparently this stuff will stick anything to anything, so give it a go. So that's the engine bay finished up already. So we've got all the Teguar slam panel done. Teguar slam panel, Teguar bolts and washers rather into the slam panel. All modified of course, obviously they don't fit standard. We got the scuttle done, we've got some Fugan socks and we've got the Teguar battery stay, battery brace. We've taken the HKR induction kit off and we've actually cleaned it up. Got the polisher on it so it looks a bit nicer. We've got all the Teguar engine cover um, washers and seals and we and we believe, we, we well we, we're pretty sure it's not genuine but we've got a, a Poon Sports oil cap. Um, we've got the recently refurbished uh, uh, standard alloy wheels in Subaru Gold with the red anodized alloy Mishimoto wheel nuts. So they look the bollocks now. Um, we've still got to refurbish the brake calipers. And we've got our carbon my ride handle covers on. And they look a lot better. Much better. Those wheels look sexy now with those um, those uh, wheel nuts in. They look bollocks, mate. Just Fair need play. The caps now. We do need some nice centre caps. Yeah, they're on order, but we're still waiting for them. Maybe here Tuesday. Covid rules apply. Hmm. <laughs> How those sexy people got we fit? What's the new shiny bits that are a pain in the fucking ass to fit? As per well, no, the biggest pain in the ass to fit is the Teguar engine. Everything. Engine bait. Well, Everything. That's not nice. It's true. So, we had to modify um, battery clamp. All the, all the Teguar bits, basically. <coughs> the battery clamp had to be cut to size. I don't know whether that's on the website as a disclaimer to say you've got to do it. Not the clamp, sorry, but the, the threaded bar had to be cut. Then we had to 
to um, to the Tegar washers. They didn't come with the rib nuts. What, what did we also have? M6, but I think they were M6 by 15 maybe? Off the top of my head? Yeah, they were like a 14, 13, 14 mil. They were just over 13 mil on, on the outside diameter of the body. So what we've done is use a step drill then to modify the holes. So you can't no longer put the put it back to original, but it's not going to happen. That's what sometimes happens with modified shit, isn't it? Never going to happen. Well, who cares? Anyway, so it does look good. So we fitted all that shit. Uh, carbon my ride. We had some bits from carbon my ride. We had the handle and the fuel cap, which look awesome. Yeah. And what else have we got? The Mishimoto wheel nuts. Mishimoto wheel nuts. They look sexy as anything. Especially against the Subaru Gold wheels. And Subaru Gold wheels. Original Bare wheels, nice. bearing in mind. But we still yet to... We need the centre caps. Centre caps. We've we got should be caps. here Tuesday, I'm hoping. Yeah. yeah. So we won't film the centre caps when they arrive. We'll just uh, post maybe, a yeah post a picture on the on the Instagram page, um, and you can see what the, the finished product looks like there. Overall, been a good day. It's been a good day. Easy mods to, or should be easy mods to do. The carbon my ride stuff is really easy. Um, we did CT one the those the bits on single place. Yeah, the handles we've done because they're going to be settled a bit more than the the fuel cap. The fuel cap come with some extra, like 3M sticky pad stuff, like foam pad. So we doubled up on that wing, whacked that on. That feels pretty secure, but we've seen stuff on forums where we thought, all right, we better use a bit of like silicone or something, tiger seal or something along them lines. So we use CT1, CT1 clear and then bonding them on. Um, but other than that, what's next, Dave? What's next to the tie bar? It's going for paint next weekend. Yes. Paint. Get some of I know. Get some of those horrible stone chips done. Um, After that, it's got to have the bonnet rewrapped. Yeah, something like that. Bonnet rewrapped, maybe. We got uh, some. We got some more stuff coming up for the FN2 anyway. So we're just waiting on parts. Stay tuned for the FN2. If you're in for the FN2s, so if you're not, just stay tuned anyway. Um, is next, this piece of it will break down. Well, yeah, of course it's a Honda. Next video we've got coming up. Uh, we have got um, a lad called Gavin who's going to join us. He's got a BMW M135i. Yep. Um, he's got some mods he's done himself, um, to, but he's coming to us to ask him to ask us to fit a uh, a boost gauge. So, see like, you. comment, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Good night.